Welcome back, guys. So, we beat the game. That's basically all we have to say, isn't it? But there is still more to this game, including a bonus dungeon. And that's what we're going to be doing today. But first, we're going to go through the final dungeon one more time. Just to see in case I can get a different... If I can get the rest of the ending to play correctly. Because... Yeah, I, I think it's glitched slightly. Worst case scenario, we just go through it again, get a little experience, and then we'll just jump right into the, uh... Right into our bonus dungeon area. Let's see, uh, I think Fail is closer, or Mysteria, one of the two. I usually was going to Fail. Heh, <laughs> that sounded funny. Either way, they're close enough to each other. There we go. I guess Fairforth would be quicker. Alright, let's check our items, make sure we got everything we need. I think that's it. I know I got rid of a lot of stuff in my inv in my inventory. Here, got the Thor sword still. We're good. All right. Uh, that's annoying. I hate that dragon lancer. I do love the fact I can wear this armor. That actually I could resist the infermost and resist the leaf. I can't tell you how important that really is. I really can't. It, getting put to sleep is a death sentence at times. I think you've seen that though. <laughs> nice threat. Part of me also is hoping that a red dragon will drop its scale for us, but that won't be con entirely necessary. We will want it for much later though, when we go to the bonus dungeon final boss. Actually, in certain cases, we want it for just random encounters because the battles get insane. My muscle memory is kicking in. <laughs> it's been a little bit since I played this, so... Not that long, but long enough for me to be like, Wait, what's this controls again? Oh, right. Good. Dragon Lancer dead before he could use Increase. I've said it before, but it's really annoying that Increase does so much for them, but so little for us when we use it on ourselves. Then again, maybe it's because I was using it when I, we were early in the game still. Now that our defense is higher, maybe it helps more. Eh. Hmm. I really wish I had one more job level. That would be really helpful right now. <laughs> now I'm better off just attacking. Get rid of some threats so you can actually survive. Doing okay. Those crits, damn. Of course, we're not going to get those crits when we actually need them, though, but it's nice when they happen on, on monsters that deserve it. Let's do that one. Not much to say, really, here. We've been through these monsters before. This is also a nice way to get a little grinding while... Mild grinding while not just standing there 
trying to kill them. Going back and forth or whistling or whatever. too late for them to really worry about increased helping them. Alright. Not straight up yet. Let's have an ass. I forget if it's up here or left here first. It is up then left. We need more red dragons to pop up in here. I feel like anything that we want to get more of never shows up enough. Which makes sense, actually. <laughs> Game's gotta be challenging somewhat. Alright, we are in... The Metal Slime... Metal King Slime territory, so now we want to get my Fire Claw out. Just seeing in case there's something else I needed to bring out. Angel's Road, no. Oh, right, I turned in all those mini metals. I forgot to sort the bag. That's why there's blank spaces here. Let's see. Golden Claw, no. Fire Claw. And let's sort the bag. Oh, it would help if I equipped the Fire Claw, wouldn't it? Oh, hello. You gonna run away? Yeah, you ran away. Well, that was fun. <laughs> Ooh, new battle music now. Or your dungeon music. Yeah, you know what? Take out the Demon Lancer. He's a dick. Yeah, well, confusion doesn't work on my skill, so fuck you. Good. Pierre needs more levels. Hmm. Demon Lancer's not as dangerous here, so... He's just obnoxious. Okay, we're going to need healing right away. Wow. You know, heal us all, just in case. Yeah, the Dragon Lancers are probably going to be the worst that we have to face. These are the monsters that we're going to be training on in the bonus dungeon, because they show up right in the beginning. That was the Demon Lancer, never mind. Demon Lancer doesn't matter as much. That's it, uh, we don't want another one of those happening, so heal off. I think Demon Lancer like regains all of his health back whenever the round switch or something, because there's no way he should have survived all that. All those hits, I mean. Am I going backwards? I'm probably going backwards, aren't I? <laughs> Avenger doesn't matter too much until he starts critting. Yeah, I was going backwards. Hmm. 
when I have the fire claw on, it makes my skill attacks a little bit stronger since, well, they're strength based and attack based, so. But yeah, that's why I'm actually using them more. Because otherwise, double attack's better. But since I don't have double attack at the moment, since I'm with the fire claw, all these will be better. They're gonna survive and just ruin us. The fact that none of them died means there's something up with that. Like, they are definitely, like, healing way too much. I gotta look at the Demon Lancers. Yeah, max HP is 364. And he's at 177 right now, so yeah, that there's something a little fishy there. They heal, they have some sort of natural regen or something. Alright, I'm just going to worry about the Guardian, because he's the one that hurts the most. Okay, you attack and you heal us all. We don't really need, we really didn't need that much for that. It helps. Ugh, and they have uh, the Cloak of Evasion effect too. Oh, hello. I bet three out of three will run away. Oh! Well, I lost that bet. Aw. Well, there we go. Put him to sleep. Yes! Oh, not enough damage. Damn it! And there he goes. Fireclaw is losing its usefulness here. I'm a little sad about that, actually. <laughs> Yeah, Guardian. I gotta, next time we run into a King Metal, I gotta check how much uh, HP he has. I already got the treasure chest. Hello. Wow, my speed was actually better than theirs for just a moment. I think I need to be only critting on the King Metals, which sucks. Anyway, time for another round of killing Volgamore. Like I mentioned before, normally he has like multiple forms. But in this game, they couldn't get it to work or something. I don't know. So for all I know, maybe they, they fixed it so sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Ah, we'll find out. In any case, I don't think we need as much preparation since we did okay last time. 
At long last, you have come to the you have come here. I am Volgamar Ruler. That's you see. Okay. And the first thing I'm gonna do is thief it anyway. Let's sap him too. Ow. Alright, yeah, just attack, and you're gonna heal us all, because I don't trust him. Timbrel of Tension time. Ouch. Pierre can actually take that, though. Timbrel, and then he could attack too. Oh shit! I'm going to parry, so Pierre can hit. Nice. And he put him to sleep. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna psych up while he heals us all. Sleeping. Okay. Well, I'm gonna attack you, Timber, one more. Eh. Didn't get to 100, but that's okay. Oh, here's a cloak of evasion effect, really. Hmm. One Timber, and then you could attack. My attack's like doing nothing. Must be the cloak of evasion effect, you guys. Oh, right, God's Rage. Forgot about that. Oh, wait, his defense came back. That's why. I forgot to sap him. You know, I'm gonna psych, and... You should heal. Yeah, you should heal yourself. me. Aw. They want my psych, psych up there. Ow. He actually could end me if I'm not careful. But I killed him. Seed of skill. Now you will see my true power. I will crush you into nothing. This world will be mine to destroy story forevermore. There it is! Second form. I thought we missed something. I am actually going to parry because I want to make sure I survive this. I can't parry that. Welp. That sucked. <laughs> you gotta laugh at that, so... All right, so lesson learned. Don't wear the Soroba Serenity in the final battle. Let's do it again. <laughs> Actually, can I just revive you? Because I don't feel like going into battle just to do that. Yeah, I got the money. All right, we're... The God's Rage is probably the worst part of both forms there. Because it does double damage based on the armor we're wearing, which was Earth Elemental, and he has a Lightning Elemental. So, we lose that battle. But we will win the war. Still, we actually got to see, yes, there is a second form, and it does work. I think it was the third form that didn't work then. Either way, we're going to... Ugh, see the skill. They are bug, don't use them. They're basically supposed to be free job points, but, uh, they don't work. I mean, technically I could make it work by just doing, uh, something like, oh, okay, I'll just add, like, 30 skill points of medium. Why is there a bridge over the lava here? I I've never seen that. Is there a point to it? Is there something here? Oh. It lets you explore from the Village of Fail. Interesting. Except you could just 
use your boat all the way up there, so I'm not sure why there's a lava bridge there, but okay. Anyway, take two. Red Dragon was the one that got its defense increased, of course. I don't know. For some reason, when a boss kills me, it's not a big deal. But when it's the random enemies that are around here, that feels like more bullshit to me or something. I don't know. Blazer, damn it. Yeah, because I saw that that defense up thing coming. Either way, they're dead. I was just thinking, I believe that uh, they took took out uh, random drops, certain random drops from monsters, because it used to be that any monster could drop seeds or, like, stat seeds or something else. Um, oh, like, alchemy crystals, which I'll explain in a moment. And they took those away because of the whole people were able to steal them infinitely and to a point where they could get, become really broken. Stop it. But yeah, so, um... That way, that means we can't really get any extra stat seeds from anyone. We can only get them from treasure chests, which we've basically gotten all of them, except those that are in the bonus dungeon. And ones from boss battles, randomly. Luckily, in the... In the bonus engine, we have some respawnable bosses. In fact, you could actually fight them over and over if you really wanted to. Uh, so, you have that, but otherwise, there's a real limit to uh, trying to get extra stat seeds. You just gotta focus on your level ups. I'm just looking how I really do need more vitality. <laughs> Good, put them to sleep. Free turn for us. Anyway, what I was talking about when I said alchemy crystals and all, what those were were, they were a type of item that you could imbue on your equipment to make them have stats on them. So you could have, say, a bunch of agility crystals fused into, say, your weapon, and you'd have a weapon that gives you extra agility. That's all. Nothing, nothing extraordinary. But, uh, yeah, they got rid of those, so the creator did, at least. Which is a shame, because it was not a bad idea, but they also were very, very rare items. And you would have to take a long time stealing them, too, anyway. <laughs> but still, she didn't like the idea of people becoming an overpowered mess with them. And it's not a bad I thought, either. So with the way she made her monsters, sometimes it makes me wonder a little. <laughs> Another thing is, I've mentioned this before, but speed is seriously overpowered in this game. Because not only does agility, you know, help you go first in a round, it also lets you, it also gives you more defense. Oh, that hurt me big time. Oh, wow. 
I can't parry here. No, no, you're healing. Uh, yeah. And the reason I bring that up is because if, say, Pierre was faster, he could constantly just be attacking the boss and keep putting them back to sleep and waste their turns effectively. It's a really legitimate strategy. Um, that's what we used in an earlier build. Me and this uh, other person, they, they played as a mage. I played as what I'm playing now, a fighter. And I was just... I wasn't fast enough, but she had both the slow spell and the speed up spell, or, or access to the speed up or something like that. So she'd raise, she'd slow down the boss enemy and then raise our agility so we'd always go first. Then I would use, because it worked at the time, Big Trip. What Big Trip does is it lets you attack and also distract the enemy. And anytime it worked, well, <laughs> you had free turns and you could keep surviving. It was the only way we could we were able to beat this epically strong boss because it was overpowered in every way. It had sleep, it had lightning spells, so you couldn't rely on Garuba's Serenity to protect you from sleep. You either had to deal with being put to sleep or or dealing with uh, extra powerful lightning damage hitting you. But yeah, I wonder if that's why the distraction skills broke or something. Either that or the creator just didn't feel like looking through the code again. Because I swear uh, we, when she had help from another guy that knew coding he was able to fix it very easily and then when I mentioned that to her she's like oh, I have no idea what he did. And it's like really? You wrote the code? <laughs> I'm not like, I'm not trying to criticize her or anything but I'm just, it's more like what happened, really? Unless it interfered with some new stuff that she was doing, maybe? I mean, I don't know. She didn't really tell me everything. She just kind of mentioned, like, I don't know. Mm. Eh. It kind of bothers me because distraction skills really would make some bosses less... Well, like, when they have the skills, uh, they make them more menacing to us because you really can't guard against distraction. And what also would make certain classes even better. I mean, having a distraction skill on Big Trip like that really helped out the fighter type classes. And it's actually really what made the Goo Boss the be one of the better classes because they could distract very well. Luckily they can still distract with their goofs, but that's the only thing that works with distraction. And that and whips I mentioned before. <laughs> and of course status spells. No, wait. I can just do heal us. Hmm. I mean, counter rate took it easy on us for a moment. But we're going to find that... Anyway, let's get motivated because we're going to be fighting the second form of the boss, assuming it doesn't glitch out again. Or assuming we don't die again. But yeah, that's, you know, that's what I'll do. Uh, instead of just grinding at a at the uh, final dungeon. If it glitches again, I'm just going to keep trying to get to get the second form and show that off. I wonder if the, it got the third form working or not. Oh wait, no, I think I remember. If we do get a third form, it's not gonna be fully powered. It'll just die in one hit or something like that. But it's okay. It'll be interesting just to show it off at least.
<laughs> we got the old old monster spawn walking into here, but now we have new monster spawn, so that'll be interesting. Anyway, back to the fire claw. Uh, jump kick the guardian. Yeah, punch is still better. But yeah, we're considered so slow right now, it's just terrible. But eh. Yeah, punch is much better. I guess none of these monsters are classified as fighter types anymore. Otherwise, jump kick would be great. I wish it was jump kick was only effective on uh, soldier types, because that would actually be so helpful. <laughs> Uh oh. That wasn't as bad as it could have been. Uh, but to be safe, I'm gonna heal us all anyway. safe. I don't feel like dying to a minion. I will say, the other fan game that I played for Dragon Quest, Legacy of the Lost, definitely did battles right. It had very good polish for the most part. Even though I didn't agree with all of its storyline, it did a good job, like at least on presentation and gameplay. And if you don't know what that is, uh, I played that a long time ago. It's on YouTube, but it's not the full Seer playthrough. It's just like the highlights and such, and a couple full streams. But I didn't start off streaming that. I started playing it on my own, and then I was like, you know, I should share some of these moments, and then I kept streaming it afterwards. Still, good game. Story lacks, but otherwise, very good. Actually, no, the story was it wasn't bad until towards the end, so... Mm. Either way... I do recommend, if you guys are into Dragon Quest, try out searching Dragon Dragon Warrior Legacy of the Lost, I think? Let me see. Oh no, it's Dragon Quest Legacy. Well, I think it's still Legacy of the Lost anyway, but... Sorry, I was just looking at my desktop, but I, my folder says Legacy. Are we going to run into a Metal King anytime soon? I mean, just to run away from and all, but still. Thank you. I felt a little empty not seeing at least one to run away from us. Wow. Kicking our ass. <laughs> yeah, that would have killed me if I didn't heal there. Oh, focus the metal, damn it. Oh, you put him to sleep, good. Yeah, we got it has the disjointed groups bug. Um, it keeps thinking we're targeting the dead one, so it sometimes retargets to the demon lancer. And there he goes. That's another issue with the game here, <laughs> but oh well. Roundhouse and Thor sword time. Oh boy. 
we don't kill him this time, we're screwed. Oh, good. Oh, hey, Metal. I was actually expecting to run so I could go, bye, Metal. <laughs> Well, he's still asleep, so he's sticking around. Yes, critical hit! Uh, heal me just in case. I don't feel like, you know, finally getting a damn king medal and then all of a sudden they both crit me and kill me. Oh, right, what am I doing? These are the annoying assholes that regen or something. They recover much more than that drain damage it showed. But anyway, yes, level up. Yeah, that's 32,000 experience, and plus when you have the lucky band you get from Metal Babbles, that's basically 48,000 experience. And if you kill more, even better. That's where the robot is much better, because you can equip all the Zenithian gear and just double crit all the time. But I still like PR better. I was debating on attacking, but I forgot. I didn't forget, but Necrodame can uh, confuse us, and I didn't feel like Pierre kind of ripping us to shreds. At least Avenger's kind of a pushover until he crits. Time to prepare. First, Talcon Sword. Get rid of the Fire Claw. Next, we're going to need new armor for both me and Pierre. I didn't see him use ice. Maybe I'll do double fur coats. I'm not sure. No, no, wait. I'm going to use my o good old Cloak of Evasion because when he hits, he does hurt. So, once I find it. There we go. Cloak of Evasion. As for Pierre, does he have his fur coat on him? No. There it is. Wait, he could also use the celestial robe, I think. Let me see. Um, golden claw. That makes him weak to fire, though, and I don't know if he has fire abilities. Hmm. You know, I think he'll be okay on the Robo Serenity because he has a lot of health. I won't be, and I matter more since I could at least revive him if I really need to. Uh, let's see. He can't revive me since as soon as I die, it's game over. Also, I'm going to get rid of that goddamn Metal Core Herb. That bothers me. <laughs> and we'll take a Magic Potion just to top off here. Let's see. Wizard rings. We both got life stones on us already. Book of Romance, Magic Potion, Mooncrest, Silver Arm. I'll take the Sage Stone. Just in case for some reason we need that ever so little healing. <laughs> Elf and Elixirs are good. I think that's everything that we could be using in battle. A shield of strength on me might work too for just self-healing, but eh. I'm not fast enough for that to matter. I'm probably usually better off. Oh, I have too many items. Alright. Give Pierre the Elf and Elixir. 
give him one at least. And yeah, I'll take the la the the shield of strength just to heal myself with, because it heals a little bit more than the sage stone. Sage stone's more like if I ha if for some reason I have to heal Pierre, which never should happen. So you know what? Screw that. Oh crap. <laughs> Menu lag was not good timing there. Alright, Pierre, we're just gonna do give yourself the Thor sword again. Just so it's at the bottom of the list. Actually, I'm gonna put the timbrel down. Because we're gonna be using that more. Alright. A long last, blah 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 blah. Fun fact, I think I didn't know if I said it last time, but the boss sprite there is from Dragon Quest 7. And he looks like he's wearing a thong. Fun. Alright. First part of this isn't too bad, so... I'm just gonna psych up for now while he saps. Yep. Right to Pierre. <laughs> you know what, I'm just gonna attack. And you need to heal yourself. I don't care if you waste your psych up. Oh, good. It didn't matter. <laughs> Doing good. Oof. Well, we're both going to attack anyway. Pierre will be fine. Oh, I'm glad I didn't wear the fur coats now. He has snowstorm. <laughs> that would have been bad. Alright, I'm going to attack. You heal us all. Thank you. And that's why we need to heal us all. Now. Now. Events return to normal, and he could really ruin my day. I'm gonna parry. Uh, he's gonna just gonna go go right for it, isn't he? Pierre is basically doing everything for me here, just so we could be doing any sort of semblance of good here. Barrier, anyway. You know, armor me, too, while we're at it. Yeah, he dispelled. Nice crit. And we're gonna bury Nara down. We're just gonna keep doing this, anyway, because it wastes a turn for him, at least. Time of a timbrel. Did his defense go back to normal or something? I think it did. Hmm. I'm just gonna keep attacking because I gotta keep that pressure on. You heal yourself. Okay. There we go. And there's the second form. Now you will see my true power. I will crush you into nothing. This world will be mine for, to destroy forevermore. Ow. Oh. It is still bugged. No, I can't be defeated. You shall pay for this. I will get you all. No, my body must hold on a little longer. No! Volgamore begins to vanish before your eyes. Suddenly, the ground trembles. Hurry, we must get out of here. Back to the entrance, Scarcy says. Oh no, there are monsters blocking the way out, Pierre says. Looks like we are going to have to fight our way out. 
I will take care of this. Rubus cast Nova. Thanks for your help. Now, hurry out of here. This place won't stand up for long. What about you? I will be fine. You need to get out and tell the world that Nexus is defeated. Thank you. Hope we meet again. Be nice. We need to get going. Ramya is waiting for you outside. You have done it. Nexus is no more. The world of darkness should see light soon again. It's too late for me, but my spirit can't... Oh, my spirit can't protect the world tree. Now go and live your life free of worry. It's time to celebrate. You have made everyone's dreams come true. Yep, we're getting much more out of this now. <laughs> and also, Pierre got to speak. Yay! And I didn't realize also that Rubus was still speaking before. <laughs> but okay, so that's... Slight, a slightly more official way of beating the game. So in other words, when I died to him that in that first round, all I had to do was take an action and he would have died instantly. <laughs> uh, hi, other Ramya. You know, I think in multiplayer, you technically could see this other Ramya kind of float flying around. It's kind of funny. If you had other people on playing, anyway. Oh! You have done well. Our world shall soon see light again. The gates between our worlds will be closing soon. Yes, I see. You've lived your life in the other world. That's where your parents, you know, are. It's for the best that your bloodline's enemy is defeated. You go back to your home world. You have shown yourself to be worthy of being Edric's heir. May good fortune smile upon you all, for all time. So yeah, did we actually do get some dialogue here? I thought so. First time we beat it, it was definitely bugged. But, did we have parents? All we knew is that there was just some woman just kind of standing in our... Standing in our bedroom, and we had no idea who the hell she was, because she never stated, Oh, my son, or whatever, or anything. No, it was just like, oh, you're leaving. Okay. But yeah, there's some bad dialogue in here, too. Yes, I see. You lived your life in the other world. That's where your parents you know are. You know, you have some parents that you don't know, but then you have the parents you do know, so... It must be like that. <laughs> uh, it is best for... It is for the best now that your bloodline's enemy is defeated? <laughs> it, I, I, that makes sense, but it's worded weirdly. Uh, you go... It's a, it is best for now that you're... Yeah, there needs to be commas in there. It's, it should be, it is for the best. Now that, you're, now that your bloodline's enemy is defeated, you should go back to your homework. It should be like that. Anyway, sage words. Welcome back. I have seen that you have defeated the Dark Lord. My family is from a long line of blessed sages. I originally came from Zenithia when Nexus's power became too strong. We were sent to watch him. Now I will return to Zenithia and await for a new ruler of evil. It is a shame mankind won't learn to stop fighting. Go now to the King of Westhaven. <laughs> and then a tip inappropriately shows up. His dialogue wasn't too bad. Though, yeah, their punctuation is definitely missing from there. When you have a contraction, you really need an apostrophe there. Like, won't. It sounds like... It's, instead, it reads as... It's a shame mankind want learn. Anyway, the prophecy was true. You are the hero sent by legend to free us. So you wish to return to Hobble. Feel free to visit any time. Your name shall be known forever through history for your deeds. Long shall you live. Now your journey is over. Go home. <laughs> and it's like, okay. <laughs> Ooh, we're going to actually see the credits that means. Welcome home. I know you're going to run out again, but please stay the night before you leave. Dragon Warrior Heroes Destiny Staff. Yeah, that's the other name for this. Scenario writer, Sylvia Lin. 
monster designer was, of course, Akira Toriyama, music composer Koichi Sugiyama, and Kagi. Oh, Kagi was the remixer. Uh, scenario assistant, they use drag the sprites from those games. Chief programmer, Sylvia Wynn. Oh my god, it's going too fast. Uh, Sil Chief programmer, of course, was Sylvia Lynn. Assistant programmers, Fui, Lutelian, and Guard Hunter. Lutelian, Guard Hunter. Lutelian was the one that did the original Shadows of Erdrick. And okay, we're going to have a music accompany for a moment, so sorry. Uh, sound programmer, Takinori. I don't know about that. Yamori, Sylvia Lynn. In other words, we they edited it a little bit. Let's see. Assistants, Fui and Lutelian. They apparently helped with some of the basic stuff. Basic stuff. Oh, Guard Hunter and Sotified. Uh, director, Sylvia Lynn. Publisher. This is where we... What we're playing on. The Beyond System. Dark Angel Games was her sort of company. Same with 8-Bit Dream. It's something that they... All of them, Fui, Lutelian, and the others, uh, grouped together as a group project when they made these games. Iconist, Sylvia, All Anon, Fui, Sarm... Mappers, Sylvia, and Me the King, Mike, Happy, Mekin. Mekin was the guy that helped her out a lot with reprogramming and such. He's the one that was able to fix the distract skills at one point, but then it broke again. Uh, we all in, in 8-bit dream staff, uh, yeah, all of them. Italian Garden, okay, there's a bunch of people here. I only know a handful of them, so. Playtesters. Yeah, Fui, Thomas, I remember some of these people. Of course, Mechan, Geeks, Mike Happy, Deadly Sin, Zoltar. Special thanks to Fui, Latellian, Guard Hunter, Deadly Sin, Zoltar, Kali, Duncan Thrax. Oh, Duncan Thrax, he, he was the one that kind of brought back, so helped bring back some of the games. He couldn't host it, so he asked me if he, I could host some of the games again, and then we got kind of like remakes of these games. Uh, uh let's see. Oh, Kali. Oh, yeah, no one knew her, but she died in a car accident, like, a year ago, and I'm really sad to hear about that. I mean, I didn't really- I haven't been talking to her for a while because I haven't been playing these games and hosting these games anymore, but still. I'm glad she kind of lives on in- in the credits and such. Let's see. These are all the special things. Kaimides, Thomas, Nabusito, uh, Beyond, Dragon Warrior, Swords of Erdrick. I mean, Shadows of Erdrick, that was the first game. Dragon Warrior Online, uh, Dragon's Den, that's the forums for Dragon Quest pe people. If you're into Dragon Quest and you want to meet a bunch of people that are into it, go to Dragon's Den. That's not an advertisement, I'm just trying to say it legitimately is a great place for it. I like how she thanks Enix, but not Square Enix, because Square totally fucked over uh, Dragon Quest fans. And most of all, the fans. Copyright from 1988 to 2006, Armor Project, Bird... Studio, all the sources they did come from. Enix Beyond, thanks for playing the end. <laughs> I'm glad we got to see the official ending, at least. Even if the boss battle was kind of buggy. There was at one point that we could fight the second form, but then the third form went in and then it would just endlessly bug. So I think that's why it played out like that. Anyway, Life Force Nuts, what I absolutely needed. And also, if I really needed to, I could constantly fight the final boss to get seed. Try to get seed. But I don't want to do that. That That is a pain in the ass. <laughs> Alright. We did what we came for. Now, we're gonna go to... Well, we were gonna go to the bonus dungeon, but I think we should do one more thing that we haven't done yet. Monster Arena. That's right. We're going to go to the Monster Arena and try to beat it this time. It's full of bonus dungeon monsters anyway, so may as well try our luck again. Maybe this time we'll survive. Maybe. Possibly. I don't think so. How much money do I need for it? 12,800. Okay. Just do that because I. It's hard to count. So one, two. Actually, I don't need the 800 because I already have it. There we go. I don't think I need a Robo Serenity in this. Let's get at it. I think it's a bunch of unicorns we have to fight.
Oh. Hmm. I am not sure. Well, attack and you know what? Just heal us all. Let's just see what they can do. It's a legend horn that we gotta watch out for. Okay. I think Explodet is actually useful here. Yeah, because they're weak. The storms are weak to that. Alright. Uh, I could parry here, so I'm gonna do that. And you explode that anyway? Yeah, why not? Oh, Firestorm. That goes right through me. Okay, we almost got them. Um, Firestorm won't kill me. And they attack for shit, so we should be good. Ooh! Medical herb. Eh. I don't get a prize? Really? Rank S? Oh, Gigas Armor. It didn't show up. Okay. Oh, it said you wanted Gigas Armor and I missed that. Okay. Where do you have a Gigas Armor, don't I? Yeah, I do. Oh, thank you. That was great. Yay. I don't know if we're going to survive the last one. Oh, boy. But we may as well take it in. And attempt to do this. It's probably going to be from the other level in the bonus dungeon area. There's like three tiers of monsters in the bonus dungeon. There's the lower tier, which we've seen at the when we were in the final dungeon, where we had King Metal, the Demon Lancers and such. Yeah, the second level where you're going to see those dangerous uh, um, unicorn-looking things along with the wind ghost things that don't matter as much. And then there's the third tier where there's even worse. At least I think, if I'm remembering right. Well, here goes nothing. Oh, it's more of the same. I'm going to actually just start off parrying instead and see how that goes. Ow. Ow. You know what? I think I'm better off just parrying and letting uh, Pierre handle this. And Pierre died. Well, this is fun. <laughs> We're going to try again. I forgot about God's Rage again. I'm just going to go around to get a free revive for Pierre here. they all resisted. Anyway, let's try that again. Stop going to the casino. I'm not doing that. I mean, I don't have a uh, Robo Serenity equipped right now anyway, but still. the physical attack that can also ruin me. Whatever, we got plenty of money to just keep trying and eventually we win. Maybe we'll get a different monster assortment. Alright. So we have God's Rage and whatever that guy does. Other blue guy does here. I don't have anything that is really of help. <laughs> other than just attacking. Um... Well, we know the Actraptor is kind of dangerous, so we'll do that, and... Barrier! You know what? Start up with Barrier! Oh, okay. 
Ow. Yeah, I so need more attack power. I think this is where an ice armor might be useful. Oh wait, no, Firestorm. Yeah, they you they have Firestorm with the wind guys. Yeah, I'm better off parrying and letting poor uh, Pierre basically do everything here. Uh, you know what? Heal us all, just in case. Yep, good thing I did. You know, just attack because you can put them to sleep sometimes. Ouch! Alright, he's still. Aftraptor's out of the picture. I'm gonna parry. <laughs> Aftraptor is slain from poison, ha! Huh? Did you put him to sleep or something? Oh, he attacked Pierre. That's what he did. Okay. Pierre should be fine. And we got it. And we got a dragon robe. Level 64. See, I knew we could luck it out. <laughs> we have won all the prizes. But yeah, the dragon robe is amazing. Because anyone can equip it, I think. If I recall correctly, has 80 defense. What element is it? Fire. Hmm. I could have sworn it was a better element than that, but whatever. Cleric, mage, bard, dancers. Everyone that isn't a soldier. Still, it's worth using, except against when you have ice magic against you, but still. But, yay, I actually have defense now. I'm going to get rid of the Cloak of Evasion, well, drop the Cloak of Evasion in my bag. And while I'm thinking of it, get, deposit the Elfin Elixir. That should be enough. But okay, we did that. Let me see my time. Yeah, we got time. Okay. Now we're going to go to Snow Mantle. Because we are going to the bonus dungeon here. Mine, we're only going to reach the front, but anyway. Place the crests on the blue tiles to break the barrier. Okay, there. Because otherwise... Bounce, bounce, bounce. You are blown back by some force. I like how we get blown that way. Where you get blown to the side. Like, nope. 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 Anyway. Let's grab out our crests. How much room do I have? I think I can grab three more. Two more, I mean. And one more, maybe. There we go. Not this one. Alright, so we got that, that, and that. So just these two left. Life Crest, and the Moon Crest. Alright, I placed them all. You have nothing else to say. Thank you. And here is where we'll have bonus dungeon enemies. We will want to be fighting the Metal Kings mainly, but we can't run from all the others, so we have to keep fighting all of them. Like so. And I bet you the first thing that Necrodane's going to do is uh, cast sleep and I'm going to put, put to sleep. Oh, he died first. Hooray! Yeah, I'm just going to preemptively just use the... Robo Serenity for now. When I'm out of the realm of getting put to sleep by things, I'll switch over. 
Yeah, yeah, attack the guardian. Uh, yeah. Oh, damn it, Timberal Tension near at the bottom. I mean, it'll help a little, but it's not what I wanted. Well, Explodette will be affected by it, so may as well use it. Timbral Tension won't affect the Thor Sword, but it will affect uh, spells. Another reason that it's useful. Oh, right. I probably should have the Fire Claw on, but I have a feeling that being able to crit the King's Medals are more useful than the Flame After Effect now. It's just not enough. So I'm just going to leave it on. Leave on the Falcon Sword, I mean. Double attack means double chance for crits. And there he goes. See, 101 luck. Eh. I really need more strength, though. Meanwhile, Pierre has a lot of strength. <laughs> Thing and Pierre is ahead of us, too, so... Oh, that's right! I just remembered. I actually do want to continue on a little bit. Because there is some very good treasure in here. And not just seeds and such, I mean, uh, another Lucky Band is in here at least, and that's the main one I want to get. And I think there's also a book, too. The question is whether or not I could actually survive here. Dragon Riders are probably going to ride our ass and kill us. Let's find out. Flare, oh boy. Yeah, I'm going to want to equip that, um... The dragon robe now, huh? Well, I'm gonna die, so I'm just gonna... I'm gonna attempt to heal. And there it goes. <laughs> you gotta just laugh at that, too. That was just like... Welp! I'm dead. <laughs> Alright, get a free revive real quick. Luckily, it's just a straight shot over to the right here. All right, so Rub of Serenity up until that door, to the second spot of the uh, dungeon. Luckily, I'm only losing money, which doesn't matter. At this point, at least. All right, Dragon Robe time. Ooh, caught off guard. Also, the Blood Priest drops Staffs of Life, which... It's pointless for us, but it's there. Right now, I only have to fear ice magic. Which is actually not a big deal as much, because it's not as common. I used to have a map for this place. I don't now, so I'm just going to wander around aimlessly. Woohoo! Half damage flare. Not half damage player. <laughs> yeah, Pierre doesn't have fire on him, but it's okay. 
Just in case there is sleep spells, we want someone to be resisting them. Titan is actually, like, pretty dangerous, but I can't remember. Oh, God, Snowstorm. Well, that's how I'm going to die today. Oh, thank God. Thank God you pure is faster. Yeah, Titan is annoying because of that damn increase spell. Oh, God, God's rage, so... Pierre is screwed too. See, that's what I mean. They make it really unfair. You really can't do anything to defend against spells too well. You have to have... You basically either have neutral armor or you're going to get screwed by one spell or the other. Um, Titan, I think, first then. Also, I like how we're catching them off guard. It's, it's helping our survivability. Alright, uh, I guess Blood Priest next. I think they, that um, at one point there used to be monsters that could revive other monsters, but it's glitching up so they couldn't do it. The system probably couldn't handle it. Either that or maybe there was like an experience abuse thing where every time it got revived you can try to kill it again and you got more experience. I don't know. Or more item drops. I don't know. Whatever. Oh boy. Just keep attacking. Pierre's dead. I am going to preemptively Staff of Life Pierre while he tries to heal himself. Okay. I did it right. <laughs> okay. In for all? Oh god. I forgot that that was a spell. And no human can learn that, apparently, either. I'm, well, it's not on my list, so... <laughs> Goddess ring, don't care. Lucky ban, I care. Keep the dragon robe on. This is what I wanted. It's two more defense! Hooray! No, no. It's because of the extra experience. I knew we get one free one. The goddess ring I don't give a shit about. And I can actually bag the Hermes hat now. Alright. We that's the furthest we're going in inside of here. <laughs> Cause we want to be fighting these guys. It's much easier. And also we want to get some experience so we can survive. Makes sense, right? <laughs> Uh, Robo Serenity, Magic Barrier, and there we go. There actually is, I think, one other good thing in there, but we don't really need it right now. Alright, for now I guess I'll Roundhouse and use Four Swords. I think there's another Timbrel Tension in there, which can be very damn useful. But we don't need it for this part here. Insane regen putting keeping these guys alive. But now I get the extra experience too. Woohoo! They also regen my MP, which does not really matter at all to me. Uh, Guardian Force.
Alright. Wait, what am I doing? I could just do this. I have a macro. <laughs> I could use the golden claw if I really wanted to, but I... Eh. I don't know if I want to do that yet. I'm more worried about, like, needing MP and such. Oh, I really need another job level. I knew that was going to happen. That's why I roundhouse kicked instead of just plain attack. Otherwise, I'd be tearing Pierre and I to shreds. I'm going to blaze there this time just in case. Uh, one gets killed, but not the other. There we go. There it is. Oh. Well, that was a fair way to start the fight. I regained my bearing, at least. But, yeah, I'm better off just punching him. And you're better off healing us off. Better off blazing and you heal me. Alright, I have a moment where I shouldn't die for once, so. <laughs> Let's hope for crits. That's all we can do. Oh! I wasn't expecting that. Hope for crits. Well, we're hoping for sleep, and that's damn good. Alright, you're still asleep, and we're running low on the health, so uh, heal us, please. You're still asleep. Ah. Oh, put to sleep. Oh my god. Go Pierre. How long is this gonna last? went on for a while, though. <laughs> well, we got one. Can't really complain about that too much. <laughs> Alright, uh... You know, I feel like I'm still better off with the Fire Claw, even though I'm not getting two chances to crit. Mostly so I could do roundhouse kick without it, you know, while doing actually decent damage instead of okay damage. Worrying about chaos is annoying. Also could whip the golden claw, but that doesn't help me much more. I still find it weird though that I'm not getting as much defense as I had have usually. Yeah, 
punch. Okay. Yeah, we're back to the grind. At this point, I was debating on maybe like bringing Skelly in, but I don't think at this point he could actually come and be of use anymore. He needs a big catch up in levels for one, and two, he we need the healing very badly. survive but barely Just debating on maybe getting the better claw from uh, the last town because I wonder if the attack is actually better than the double attack at this point. It might not be, but mm, just got my curiosity raised and I got plenty of money, so why not? There this time, and this is Thor's sword. I don't think it'll do much, but okay, it did do enough. I mean, I'm mostly using the fire claw for its passive, though. I just don't, I never really used the other ones because I thought the fire claw was always better, and none of the others really had a passive. Like, let me see, yeah. A claw that may randomly cast blaze more when it hits its target. It has the elemental property of fire. Yeah, so. Don't know. Meanwhile, Golden Claw. Looking on the screen that you don't see. Yeah, this one it says monsters that seem to track to this somehow, but no elemental property. Hang on a second. I'm just going to give this to Pierre. I'm going to go check it out. I mean, we have plenty of money. We got plenty of time. We could... Oops, I don't have it anymore. Let's return to... Avalis. To save on room here, I can probably deposit the life stone at this point. We don't have any defeat spells to worry about at the moment. Oh, first things first, bank. We'll take out hmm, 100,000 to 300,000. Giga Sass, Dragon Claw. 135 attack. Four seventy four. That's pretty good. <laughs> but does it have any after effects? I don't think it does. A weapon made from claw of a dragon, elemental property of wind. Hmm. It'll be weak to certain monsters then. Okay, we got dragon claw. And the Magus Staff just does increase does the defense up spell, which is not a big deal. No, wait, wait. Magistaff does barrier. Moonstone Mace does increase. I mean, it would be useful for me to sometimes use it instead of uh, always Pierre doing it, but still, eh. What's Demon's Bane? Did Pierre equip it? No, I didn't think so. 
And I've already been over the armor before. Oh, wait, can I equip the sun crown now? I can! Holy fuck. I forgot, yeah, like I have additional equipment I can equip now. I know that was a little redundant, a little bit of a redundancy saying that, sorry. For now, I'm gonna bag the dragon rope since I'm not using it, and. Can I equip a better shield? Silver shield, night. No, can I equip the. I don't think I could equip the metal babble shield, right? No. Still can't do that. Okay. <laughs> That's the best shield there is, so I was tempted. Uh, let's see. Romance, magic potion. I forgot, like, I have a different... Now a new set of armor I could equip based on my being a pirate instead of a thief-type mob character. I'm going to try shield of strength next, but I want to see if there's any other shields that I have. Nope, that's it. No. Alright. What about the silver shield? Silver shield's 35. Light shield's 55. I cannot equip the light shield. And I know uh, Pierre can either. Okay. Can I equip the silver shield at least? Damn. Well, worth a shot. I was hoping I could equip some sort of better shield just to get my defense up, because it is pretty poor at this point. But I got the dragon claw, yay! What else can I do? Let me see. Land cast. Oh god, I hate you. You don't have anything different from Pikistan, so I'm just going to go to Pikistan, and Pikistan's got a better layout. Griffin Claw. I'm just seeing if the, any of these extra claws have any additional effects to them. This just has wind, which means it's not as good. Silver Helm, Shield of Strength, Sage Rope, Silver Mail. No. Uh, and I think that's it, because that's the dead uh, merchant over there. He doesn't work. I keep forgetting I could have got rid of my uh, Hermes hat. <laughs> But hey, the Sun Crown, that would be good for boss battles when anywhere I don't care to have extra experience for some reason. <laughs> Lancast, Pikistan, Edora. I think they have a different weapon. Griffin. I think that's what we had before, isn't it? I can't see it. Great. Well, I'll know by attack at least. Yeah, it is the same. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think any of the others had what uh, Fireclaw had. In any case, I'm going to put the Fireclaw away for just a bit and test out with the Griffin Claw to see if that helps any at all. If, again, if at all. I don't really think it does, but. Couldn't hurt to check. Oh, not Exalus. Damn it, I meant Snow Mantle. We also want to deposit my money. I don't really feel like losing that much money. Does this town have a bank? I really hope it does. I forget. But I am leaning towards no. What, what what weapon do you have? Ice Claw? We'll look at it. We have money. Why not? 90 attack power. Not the Sun Crown. Actually, does Sun Crown do anything? No, it doesn't. Just defense. 
And this has nothing either. Okay, I didn't think so, but again, worth a look. It would have been cool if it cast a spell like ice or something. Armor shop's closed. That's the priest. There's the bank. Tucked all the way away. We already took an in trip. We're good. Let's head back. Test it out. Oh, you have the golden claw at the moment. Mm. It's gonna mess me up a little. The damage is not that much better. Mm. Oh, I shouldn't have attacked. I could get confused again. I think that almost equals what I usually do in damage. I mean, uh, without the extra chance of critical hitting, anyway. Alright, let's attempt King Metal. Eh, well. Well, there's also the wide range of damage you get from attacking and such, too, so not to mention all the stupid uh, Cloak of Evasion characters. Anyway, I'm going to take that Golden Claw back. Thank you. She bust through their regen there. But yeah, they regen way too much there. The other one was able to be killed that fast. Yeah. They're, they're a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> yeah, I think the attack power is actually worth it. It just... The Falcon Sword's mostly for when you get critical hits, though. working for us, so can't complain. The only problem is, again, just trying to kill uh, the Metal Kings. We're going to have a little bit of trouble. But the Fire Claw is not working anymore, so we can't really rely on that. <laughs> my other physical abilities better. I'm going to try sidestep. I don't think it'll work, but yeah. Awesome! When it works, hell yeah. Let's try sidestep a little bit more often. <laughs> it's still a gamble, though. You're probably better off with reliable damage. Yeah. Well, worth it when you really need to kill something and you need to take that chance.
Maybe the Demon Lancer is what I'll use it on. When there's just one, anyway. Hmm. Alright. Oh! Neat. Well, it's working well with the random enemies. It's just not going to work well with the King Metals, then. Alright, so the most dangerous one still is you, Guardian, so fuck you. Why did I solar sword? <laughs> I didn't really need to do that. I think this is where the genie would be slightly better because he has one, he has more MP, but he requires more grinding, but he could help with the grinding with his great special attack or er, intelligence. And two, he could just spam the Thor sword just as well while also being able to equip a uh, poison needle which can instantly kill monsters as well. Not that it, the poison needle is any good though, so... Mm. I don't know. He, that's the thing. Mages can't kill metals very well. Not without a spell to aid them, which is the chance spell. Bye King Metal. Bye King Metal. Yeah, I actually have a mage on this, in this, uh, a save file section. It's the first one that I can, that I have the chance spell with, and it's very good and all. It's just, uh, what do you call it? It just can also kill you, too. It's only used for grinding and not worrying about dying. Magic herb, okay. Hmm. You know, I think I'm gonna leave this here. We get enough excitement for the day, and all we got left is grinding, so. Just outside us. And for some reason, it takes us over here. <laughs> Yay, game glitching. Let me return to Snow Mantle. But anyway, thank you guys for watching the game. Hope you all have a wonderful day, and see you next time. Oh, come on, priest. Ruining my ending here. <laughs>